shout it loud, hallelujah. I want you to prophesy into the life of three persons. Look at somebody straight in the heart. Say, my friend, your name is in God's program tonight. In the name of Jesus. Say it to three persons, three persons. Amen. Professor, once again to the life of three persons again. Say, my friend, your opposition shall become your testimony. In the name of Jesus. Prophesy to the life of three persons. Thank you, Jesus. Now, you will prophesy into the life of seven persons. Say, my friend, any power that wants you to die shall die in your place. In the name of Jesus. Seven persons. Seven persons. Prophesy by the Spirit of the Living God. Shout it loud, hallelujah. All eyes closed. Let there be silence now. And everyone should remain standing before the Almighty God. There are some songs I want you to sing now. I want you to sing them without any accompaniment. The louder you sing this song, the faster your miracles here tonight. In fact, as you begin to sing that song, the Lord said, there are some people who came here with burning feet. It seems as if somebody is setting fire under their feet. The evil fire shall be quenched immediately. There are some who have come here with swollen ankles, swollen part of their bodies. As you are singing this song, the hour of infirmity shall go back to the senders. There are so many that the doctors have told they have a heart problem. What will happen is that as you are singing this song, there shall be a replacement therapy. The Almighty shall give you a new heart. As we are singing this song too, the Lord said that some people are with abnormal blood pressure. All of a sudden you will feel as if somebody plugged your body to electricity. And that will be the end of that problem. As you sing this song too, there are some people here. The kind of wealth God will usher them to before this year runs to an end. Will shock their friends and surprise their enemies. Can you sing this song loud and clear? The name, the name of Jesus. Is and I than all is is name that's full of the name the name sing it loud and clear. Hallelujah is greater and than Hallelujah is is the nameless full of power. His name is His name is Jesus. 
Sing it loud and clear. His name is Lord. His name is His name is Jesus. His name is Lord. That's wonderful name. Jesus. Call his name, call his name, call his name. That's wonderful name. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, that wonderful name. Hallelujah, Jesus. There is no other name. Hallelujah. Something is happening over there. Look at the power of God. Moving from the top of the head to the sole of the feet. That wonderful Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, that wonderful Hallelujah, Jesus. There is no wonder name. Emmanuel, 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 my Lord, Emmanuel. Sing it loud and clear, Emmanuel, My Lord, Emmanuel, Emmanuel is here. Emmanuel is here. Emmanuel is here. Praise His holy name. Emmanuel. Masopo katana ya boshanda rabosanda ribosante ke ponde ke ya boshanda Emmanuel is here. Praise His holy name. Emmanuel. one loud and clear louder than anyone here do something new in my life something new in my life do something new tonight 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 hallelujah do something new in my life Something new in my life. Do something new in my life. Do, do something great. Do something great in my life. Something great in my life. Do something great in my life. Tonight. 
Hallelujah. Do something great in my life. Something great in my life. Do something great in my life. Do that. God, that answer by fire. You will answer me by fire. You will answer me tonight, tonight, tonight. Hallelujah, man. God answer by fire. You will answer me by fire. You will answer me by fire to Silence now. Why the power of God is moving from person to person. Yokes have been broken. Limitations have been erased. Backwardness has been buried. Power of God is moving from person to person. Maseka Fondaya Bushande. Ribo sonde ke tenda kaya bushanta. Paribo soponde ke ya bushanta. Amen. Silence, beloved. As some people in this meeting tonight, technically, dark powers have swallowed them. But one by one, where they are standing now, they are being vomited. The evil powers have swallowed them. It's vomiting them completely. I see a woman here presently. Doctors have been telling you they can't find out whether you have a womb or not. Something is happening to you right there where you are. A creative miracle is happening in your life. And not will only that happen to you. The menstruation you've never seen will start immediately. The power of God is moving in an awesome manner. The arrow fired into the brain has been taken out by the power of God. There is one man here. Almost 20 groups of people have conspired against you. The Lord said I should tell you that the conspiracy is scattered tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let there be silence. Something is taking place. There is someone here now. The enemy is trying to make you fall asleep. Knowing fully well that your deliverance is close. You better shake yourself out of that evil slumber. So that the enemy will not steal from you. Now you will shout this loud and clear. Everybody will shout this louder than anyone around them. Don't negotiate with this point at all. Shout it with a heart of enough is enough. Say this loud and clear. Every agenda of darkness for my life. In the name of Jesus, deal with the agenda of darkness. There must be no negotiation. Open your mouth and begin to destroy this agenda. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. What a mighty God we serve. It's glorious in holiness. Prayerful in praises and it doeth wonders. Open your mouth and begin to declare it. Power of God will cause great deliverance for you tonight. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we thank you for this night. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name.
I pray, O oh Lord, that as many of your people as are gathered into this deliverance and anointing service, that none shall go home the same. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let's have a seat. God bless you. Let's take our Bibles. We have three things ahead of us now. We want to look at the Word of God very briefly. Then we pray and go into the ministration after the message. Then we go into the anointing service. I want to believe God that you brought your anointing oil here. If you brought your anointing oil here, shout hallelujah. Glory be to the name of Jesus. Now listen to this short message. Listen very, very attentively. This is the message so many destinies have been waiting for. I speak for a few minutes just scratching the surface of a deep topic called deliverance of the blood. Sisters, what did I say? Can the sisters shout it loud and clear? Brothers, what did I say? Leviticus chapter 17 verse 11. If you are feeling, feeling sleepy, I recommend you stand up. When we are talking about things like this, don't sleep. Leviticus 17 verse 11. For the life of the flesh is in the blood. And I have given it to you upon the altar. To make an atonement for your soul. There is a power inside blood that can even make an atonement for a man's soul. For it is the blood that maketh an atonement for the soul. Verse 14. So for it is the life of all flesh. The blood of it is for the life thereof. Therefore that I said unto the children of Israel. Ye shall eat the blood of no manner of flesh. For the life of all flesh is the blood thereof. Your life is your blood. Whosoever eateth it shall be cut off. That's mystery number one. Genesis chapter 4 now. Genesis chapter 4 verse 10. We we'll see another mystery. Okay, Genesis 4.10 And he said, What hast thou done? The voice of thy brother's blood cried unto me from the ground. The blood has a voice. This particular blood cried unto God of vengeance. In the book of Hebrews chapter 12, which is the final scripture we want to read for now, Hebrews chapter 12, verse 24. Hebrews 12, 24. And to Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant, and to the blood of sprinkling, that speaketh better things than of Abel. The blood of Abel was saying something. The blood of Jesus was saying something. The blood is the source of life. And the human life is trapped in the blood. When God created man and breathed his breath into his nostril, that breath of God that entered into man was trapped, kept in the blood. The blood is a living liquid. The blood is alive. Scientists will tell you that it is blood that will carry oxygen from your lungs to other parts of your body. They will tell you it is your blood that conveys your digested food to various parts of your body. They will tell you it is your blood that helps you to maintain your body temperature. They will tell you it is your blood that helps you in excreting waste from your body. But is that blood is an agent of purification. They will tell you that your blood is like a, is acts as a security patrol in your body, killing sicknesses, killing diseases. And they will tell you it's your blood that constantly supplies your body with strength that keeps you going. Therefore, if anything goes wrong with that blood, if that blood is polluted or defiled, life is polluted, life is defiled. The life of everything is inside the blood. That your blood is the real liquid housing you. 
the trouble now comes. Everyone inherits his or her ancestors' blood. And everyone is related to the past through the blood. You are what your ancestors are by your blood. Plenty of human battles in life that, and, and afflictions are inside the blood. The initiator of trouble or battle in a past generation, current generation, are sharing their blood. So what I'm trying to explain to you this night is that inside that blood that is so important and the enemy knows it's so important, there is a lot of attack. There could actually be evil spirits, demons in a person's blood. When there are ancestral spirits troubling people, the ancestral spirits inhabit the blood, making the offspring to acquire the problems that the ancestors had. This is why some of these problems are sometimes very difficult to solve by people who are interested in deliverance. So if you notice that your life is going the pattern of your ancestors, they have, there are things in your blood that need to depart from there. But that's not all. The mystery of it is that your blood can be your enemy. Because the only blood that speaks good things for anybody is the blood of Jesus. So your blood, the blood that is running your vein, may be speaking things that are not in your favor. It may be speaking completely against your life. Because the only blood that speaks for us is the blood of Jesus. And the blood that is inside the veins of those whose life have the fire of God, whose spirits have been regenerated by the power of Jesus. Every blood has a voice, it has a message. You need the Holy Spirit to open your spiritual ears to hear what your own blood is saying. And because your life is inside the blood, you inherited it, every problem that is in the ancestry can flow into the person's life and the person will be struggling with it. Even scientists will tell you that things like blood groups, blood types are inherited from both parents. When somebody's blood is polluted, when there is an enemy fighting you from your blood, you begin to notice horrible dreams, particularly dreams of death. Sometimes there will be unexplainable emotions, bad health, confusion, arrows of problems, arrows of miscarriage, arrows of multiple operations. The person may be having the smell of death. There will be all around disappointment. There will be chains of death in particular families. The problem is inside the blood. Blocked breakthroughs. All these are blood demons, blood problems. Circulating evil powers in the body. All these are problems in the blood. Anti-harvest forces. You work hard when you are about to repeat something sweeps it away. Constant sickness, constant sickness. And sometimes the doctors cannot tell where the problem is coming from. Horrible dreams, demonic dreams. The people go for deliverance, they go and pray, it seems as if the thing doubles in power. Constant attack of blood diseases. Constantly being attacked by malaria, constantly being attacked by whatever happens to the blood that goes wrong. There are blood demons, beloved. There are blood problems. There are negative things speaking against people in the blood. Inside the blood, there are ancestral spirits. Inside that blood, there are infirmity spirits. Inside that blood, there is a spirit of death and hell. Inside that blood, there is stubborn sicknesses, stubborn situations confronting so many people. Inside that blood, you could have spirits that will make you to go into the wrong marriage. You love children that are against you. You expect that because the thing is your blood, it will relate with you well, but it's completely opposite to now. This is why we have prayers to pray here today. We need deliverance of the blood. What do you need to do? We want to be free from these forces that creeps into people's lives and causes a lot of destruction. You need to completely surrender your life to Jesus. That is not negotiable. Two, you need to wage war against these ancestral powers present inside the blood. You need to withdraw your blood, number three, from every evil altar. 
You need to replace that blood with the blood that Jesus has sanctified. You need to use the blood of Jesus to destroy any satanic investment in your blood. And therefore, the majority of our prayers tonight shall concentrate on this. How is it, but how did they get, how did they get my, into my blood? I can tell you a few ways they can get in. Virgin covenant. They can get in. So, lady, you need to think very well who disvirgined you and what happened. It could be true incisions. You cause incisions in your body, you pollute your blood, any kind of spirit can enter into your blood. It could be true sex outside marriage. It could be true abortions. It could be this tattooing of the body that, is caused, that makes the enemy to have access to your blood. It may be women or, or true women or men's circumcision. It may even be true satanic agents operating in hospitals. But the major blood demons come through sinful practices of our past generation. And they destroy lives. But Jesus is here to set the captives free. Rise up on your feet now, beloved. Rise up on your feet. This is a very important thing. And you will see what will begin to happen now. Immediately we begin to address these things that are hiding there. The which many of us have never addressed. Many don't even understand it. But I'm sure the Lord has opened a little bit of your understanding tonight. On eyes closed. But if you will receive any form of deliverance here tonight. The first key is that you must make God your friend. So if you are here tonight, and you are not born again, you have not just surrendered your life to Jesus, you cannot be delivered from these problems. But if you are here, you say, man of God, I want my deliverance tonight. I want to surrender my life to Jesus. Wherever you are, while all eyes are closed now, run quickly to the altar here. Because we have little time. We want to go and pray. Just find your way very quickly to the altar here. And as you surrender your life to Jesus, find that your life will completely change. Jesus is waiting for you here. Find your way very quickly to the altar here. Those of you who have come to surrender your life to Jesus, I congratulate you. Taking the most important decision in life. Right that way you are, close your eyes, bow down your head, wherever you are, and say what I'm going to say now after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you tonight. I know that you brought me here. I know that I'm a sinner. I know that you brought me here to bless me. 
Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. As from tonight, I say bye-bye to the devil. I enter into the kingdom of light. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Father, I thank you for your children here. I pray, O oh Lord, that as they have taken the most important decision in life today, you will make it permanent in their lives. Uphold them by your power. Write their names, O oh Lord, in the book of life. Let the decision they have taken today be a decision that will prosper them through their lives. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Today that they have surrendered their lives to Jesus, any problem in any life, let the problems be buried. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. On the mountain, in the valley, on the land, in the sea, on the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea. Hallelujah. On the mountain, in the valley, on the land, in the sea, on the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea. Hallelujah. On the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea. On the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea. Hallelujah. You are worthy to be praised, O oh Lord. Worthy to be praised, O oh Lord. You are worthy to be praised, O oh Lord. You are worthy to be praised, O oh Lord. You are worthy to be glorified. I am worthy to be glorified. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy. There is power, there is power. There is power in the blood of Jesus. Power, power is power. Power is power. Power is power. Power is power. There is power. There is power. Power there is power. There is power. Power there is power. Power there is power. There is power. There is power in the blood of power. There is power.
power is power is power is power is power On the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea. On the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea. Hallelujah. On the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea. On the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea. Hallelujah. You are the mighty God, the great I am. Alleluia, alleluia. You are the mighty God, the great I am. Alleluia, Rise up on your feet, beloved. Rise up on your feet. The great I am. Alleluia, alleluia. Oh, you are the mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah, Hallelujah! Oh, You are the mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah, Hallelujah! At the mention of that name, every knee shall bow. At the mention of that name, every tongue of shout aloud, Hallelujah! Now these prayers, I want you to pray. They may sound very strange. I recommend that you pray them anyway. Don't worry about the wordings. But pray the prayers. And get the benefit and the results. Every problem that came into my life through the blood of my parents. Can you say this loud and clear? Sisters, can I hear you today shouting this loud and clear? Brothers, shout it louder than the sisters. Everybody together now. Dead. In the name of Jesus. Deal with that problem now. Masopoko tenda kaya bo shende raba kantia. Bo ribo sopende kende aba. In Jesus name we pray. Say evil voices from my blood. Something is happening over there. I see someone who came here with a big stony object in the body. The stone has just been melted away. I see someone here too. Your children were initiated into witchcraft. One by one, the power of God has removed them from that evil association. Evil voices from my blood! Shut up in the name of Jesus! Open your mouth and pray like that. Command the evil voices to shut up. Aha, aha. Something is happening now. 
I tell you what will happen. Yes, all the blood demons. I bind you and I cast you out. Receive your deliverance. Receive your deliverance. Receive your deliverance. Receive your deliverance. In the name of Jesus. Ah, 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 ah. In Jesus' name we pray. It's the blood of Jesus. Destroy every demonic document in my blood. Blood of Jesus. Destroy every demonic document in my blood. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to call upon the blood of Jesus. Masekaya Boshendera Bosanta. In Jesus' name we pray. I want you to check your body now. There are some who came here with certain conditions. And that condition has just disappeared. Just find a way to the altar very quickly. And those of you who have received the touch earlier on, and you have been interviewed, also find a way to the altar now. The power of God is moving here in an awesome manner. There are 40 persons right now that is poison of death in your blood. The agenda of that poison is to kill you. Right there where you are, the power of God is coming upon you. And the yoke of the enemy inside the blood is broken completely. That's number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Number six. Number seven. Number eight, number nine, number ten. That's right. The serpent in the blood is being taken out. That's right. That's right. Aha. The heaviness in the head, the problem that started as a result of the concussion you drank, all these things are being taken out now. That's right. Shout this loud and clear. Every evil power of my father's house in my blood. In the name of Jesus. That's right. Let them be destroyed. Let them be destroyed. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Rebo soponde ke yabo shende raba santa. Aha, aha, aha. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, anointing that breaks the yoke. Enter my blood. In the name of Jesus. That's right. I'm not in that breaks the yoke. Enter my blood. Enter my blood. In Jesus' name we pray. Now, if you brought any sickness here, this is the time to lay your hands on that place. As you lay your hands on the place of infirmity, you will shout this loud and clear. I fire back. Every arrow of untimely death. Can you shout it loud and clear? In the name of Jesus. Fire it back. Maseka poya boshendera bokontendara basande. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, I decree 
at every infirmity represented here, the one in the head that is causing the migraine, the one in the eyes that is causing cloudiness in the eye, the one in the kidney and the liver, the witchcraft sponsored infirmities. Hear the word of the Lord. It is written by the stripes of Jesus, your children are healed. Therefore, right there where you are, receive your healing in the name of Jesus. You, the spirit of infirmity, I bind you and I cast you out. In the name of Jesus. Every power that says you will not have peace, let those powers be buried now in the name of Jesus. Receive your healing. 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 In the name of Jesus. Aha. That's the end of the cancer. That's the end of the fibroid. That's the end of the cough. That's the end of the stroke. That's the end of the heart trouble. Yes, that's the power of God coming upon you. Thank you, Jesus. Check your body now. Begin to do what you cannot do before. That's the power of God. That's right. Yes, don't be afraid. The miracle has happened. Thank you, Jesus. Check your body now. Immediately you discover you have been healed. Don't allow the enemy to put the problem back into your body. Quickly run to the altar here. So that we can pray and put a seal on that testimony. Everybody will shout this loud and clear. Strong man! In my family blood! In the name of Jesus! Jesus is here. His power is moving from person to person. His power is going from person to person. His power is flowing from person to person. Let the chain of darkness be broken. Let it be broken, let it be broken, let it be broken, let it be broken. Let it be broken, let it be broken. Aha, 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 aha. In Jesus' name we pray. The Lord has done something powerful for somebody over there. Check your body. That evil flow of blood has stopped. Check your body. That lump in the body has disappeared. You can see it. Just find a way to this altar very quickly. Don't allow the devil to put the problem back. That's why Jesus brought you here. To do great and marvelous things in your life. That's right. You dead organs in the body. Come alive by the blood of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to decree it. Come alive by the blood of Jesus. Come alive by the blood of Jesus. Pasopokatenda yaboshendera bokonta. In Jesus name we pray. Let there be silence now. Don't say anything again. There are ten persons here. The enemy has introduced into your life this spirit of failure at the edge of success. Right there where you are, the power of God is coming upon you. And the yoke of failure at the edge of breakthrough is broken to pieces. That's right. Uh, there are 37 persons here. Anytime you pray strong prayers about your problem, you always see your mother. Right there where you are. The power of God is setting you free. From the yoga that has held you in bondage for years. Yes, that is the power of God coming upon you. That is the first person. Number two, number three, number four, number five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So every power.
using my blood against me. You are a liar. Yeah! In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. I have a word of prophecy for somebody here. Something bothered you so much you have been crying. The Lord said this morning that crying shall become testimony. The Lord said I should tell somebody here that the sorrow the enemy has introduced into your family has been wiped away by the blood of Jesus. Uh Thank you, Jesus. Pick a song of praises in your mouth and begin to sing it loud and clear to the King of Kings and to the Lord of Lords. What a mighty God we serve. A glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, and you do wonders. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. If you believe the Lord has touched you, shout three Goliath destroying. Hallelujah. Amen. We now go straight into the anointing service. Please bring out your bottle of olive oil. If you brought many bottles, just bring up one. And don't bother to open the cover. The cover cannot prevent the power of God from getting inside. This anointing that we are praying on today is a very, very special one which will rewrite the history of so many people. A very special one which will even have impact on the nation. Because wherever this oil is dropped on the ground, the activities of the enemy will be disgraced. The anointing service is not a ritual, neither is it magic or fetish power. The oil is a symbol of the Holy Spirit. Oil, handkerchief, apron, materials like that, they can carry the anointing. After prayer now, you carry a powerful weapon in your hand. Hold it in your right hand and let your amen be super dynamic. Father, in the name of Jesus... Father, in the name of Jesus. In the beginning, the Spirit of God moved upon the waters. And as the Spirit of God moved upon the waters, there was the voice, let there be light. Father, let the Holy Spirit move into this oil now in the name of Jesus. Let this oil become the oil of deliverance. The oil of power. The oil of strength. The oil of breakthrough. And as far as you have this oil in your hand, every wall of sorrow shall crumble. In the name of Jesus, the doors of tragedy will be shut down. In the name of Jesus, let this oil become drugs, antibiotics, and vitamins of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, Father, in those days, he used to send an angel to trouble the water of Bethesda. And whoever got in first, got in. Let the same angel trouble this oil now. So that it can become the oil of breakthrough. The oil of power. The oil of strength. The oil of deliverance. The oil of glory. The oil of healing. The oil of uncommon breakthroughs. In the name of Jesus. And let his oil be sanctified. In the name of the Father, 
the name of the Son, and the name of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Now, carefully open this bot- your bottle and put a little bit in your mouth. Swallow it. Be careful with your fingers, careful with the oil. And say this after me. Say, my mouth. You have encountered the anointing oil. Beginning from today, you will bring me progress. My mouth shall not kill me. My mouth shall speak words of prosperity and blessings. Beginning from today, any hidden sickness in my body is dead. In the name of Jesus, shout a loud amen. The Pour a little bit of the oil on your head. The Bible says, Thou anointed my head with oil, and my cup runneth over. Say, My head, you are the symbol of my destiny. Beginning from now, my head shall be lifted up above the enemies round about me. Insanity shall not be my lot. Any curse issued against my head shall backfire. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now apply a little bit of the oil on your hands and rub them together. So my hands, you are the symbol of my walking. Beginning from now. Every good thing that I touch shall prosper. In the name of Jesus. My hand shall magnetize good things to my life. My hand shall bring me powerful breakthroughs. In the name of Jesus. Shout aloud, Amen. Now apply the oil on your legs. You may need to sit down to do it properly. Make sure the oil touches your two legs. Look at what is happening over there. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. My legs, you are the symbol of my walking. Beginning from now, you will not take me into tragedy. If there is going to be tragedy, you will not go there. My legs shall take me to my place of breakthrough. Shall take me to my place of blessings. In the name of Jesus, shout a loud amen. Now, if you have any sickness on any part of your body, put this oil on your hand and apply it to that place. Don't worry whether anyone is looking at you. Don't bother whether anyone is looking at you. If you need to put your hand inside your clothes, do so. Massage it in. That's right. The healing power of God is flowing from the top of your head to the sole of your feet. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Look at what is happening over there. That's right. Yes. The serpent moving about in the body. Dried up. Rise up on your feet now. Carefully put the oil away. Don't allow it to pour away. Immediately you get home from this meeting. The first place to anoint is your door post. After the order of the Passover. Once you anoint your door post. If any power of darkness wants to enter into your habitation, it will stay outside. You will not gain entrance to your habitation. If somebody has bad spirits, if he wants to enter into your habitation, his demon will come out and wait for him outside. Glory be to the name of the Lord. If you have a friend who did not come to this program but wants this oil, let your friend buy a fresh bottle of oil and put a few drops in it and it becomes the same thing. Now that you have anointed yourself, you are in a position to pray one powerful prayer. Say, anointing and praise the Lord! Come upon me now! In the name of Jesus! The anointing that breaks the yoke. Come upon me now. In the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Ribose katonda kaya bo shandaraba. Tepiali katonda kaya ba.
In Jesus name we pray. Thank you Jesus. Now right there where you are. The Lord is showing me somebody who is pregnant. And the doctors doctors have been telling you stories about that baby. Their pronouncements have been cancelled. And you have nothing to fear. Thank you Jesus. Somebody who has come for this program today very very soon very very soon you shall become a celebrity the Lord shall promote you right now not many people know you but very soon you are going to be very very popular thank you Jesus now I want you to pick three things in your mind three things you want the Lord to do for you before the next convention begin to talk to the Lord now three things Amen. Let your amen be dynamic now. As I make these prophetic pronouncements upon your life. Beginning from now. I decree by the decree of heavens. That you will march upon every serpent and scorpion. In the name of Jesus. Whether the devil likes it or not. You will cross to the arena of victory. In the name of Jesus. Every power that has padlocked the success of anyone here, they shall release your key by force by fire. In the name of Jesus, every power that has disgraced you in the past, all those powers shall be completely disgraced now. In the name of Jesus, all those who have mocked you in the past, they shall gather around to share your testimony. In the name of Jesus, for it is written that you to the hills shall raise up your head. From there comes your help. Your help comes from the Lord who made heavens and earth. You will not suffer your feet to be moved. For it that keepeth you not slumber. That keepeth Israel shall end slumber and sleep. The Lord shall keep your going and your coming out. The Lord shall keep you in all your ways. No evil shall be for you. Neither shall any plague move near your camp. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. And if Jesus tarries in his coming, you will shout happy new year to the next year. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. I believe you have been blessed by this video. If you have any question or prayer request or want a particular video topic, use the comment section below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel by clicking on the subscribe button and the notification bell beside it to be updated with new videos whenever available. Thanks as you share this video with your friends and family. God bless you.